Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's about 12.30 on a Tuesday. It's going up on a Tuesday. Y'all, I am nursing a headache. I feel so much better. I had two pixie sticks and um, an aspirin. So right now I feel fine. But I got to stay on it and, and take that cocktail um, ever so often to keep my my headache at bay. What did I walk in there for? I forgot. Oh, um, I got some new stuff. I got that pillow I was telling you about. It just arrived. So Amazon just dropped off my two packages here. These are things that I ordered um, a couple of days ago. That pillow I was telling you about and my bed pillows decorative pillow and sleeping pillows so i'm gonna go ahead and open those up but meanwhile i'm about to start me some lunch i woke up thinking about tequila lime wings i hadn't seen these in walmart in forever so i googled them and lo and behold they said Publix had them so i got up and went on over there and got me some because these are so delicious i'm gonna put a couple of these in the air fryer while i un um package my pillows get my bed set up so it'll be nice and pretty for me when i get off of work but meanwhile I'm about to use my air fryer you've seen this air fryer before this is from um amazon as well and i actually love it because you can do so much with it this is like my third air fryer and i absolutely love 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 this style now, y'all know I got all this stuff up here. My apartment is very much lived in. If you're looking for a perfect um, person and a perfect apartment, you're on the wrong channel, honey. Because I live here in this apartment. This apartment is very lived in. So, you're going to see stuff on the counters, okay? But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and heat this up so we can get our wing on. Get our tequila lime wing on. And these are by Tyson. This is what the packaging looked like, just in case you want to try them. But, girl, these are so good. All right, so I got my wings going. We'll come back and check on them. I did re-up on my detergent because I wash clothes quite a bit, especially my work uniform. So let's go ahead and get into these pillows. Okay, so never mind my jammies over there. Took them off this morning to get dressed to go to the store. Okay, so this was probably in the medium. This is a lot smaller than I thought. I should have got the large. Hmm. Okay, let's just open it and take it out the shrink wrap. See if it just, I don't know, maybe it'll get a little thicker, a little agate into it. But it's tiny for a medium. Yeah, and the shrink wrap left it, left it, you know, wrinkly. So maybe all of those will just pop out sooner or later. Or maybe I can hit it with a steamer and see what happens but uh, okay it's cute or whatever though i'm still happy with it it's cute it's cute cute all right let me open the bed pillows show you the hotel style pillows and tell you what they feel like all right so here is the beckham hotel collection from amazon Let's see if they're really hotel quality. Because I always love the way hotel pillows feel. Let's see if they were worth the coins. But oh, they got them all tightly shrink wrapped too. OMGG. I don't know why that makes me nervous. But I feel like they're not going to be what I need them to be. But we don't know that to be true, so let's see. Because that is how some of those real thick, super comfy mattresses come. Okay, it feels, it feels like a down pillow. Like it has feathers in it, but it doesn't. Okay, this is nice. It's not a super firm, but it's definitely nice. But it's rising and doing its thing, though. Oh, now I gotta take all these boxes. They're nice. 
And then at checkout, there was a 40% off coupon. I, I hate that I didn't get them the first time because I feel like the first time I saw these on sale, the coupon was for 50% off. But you know how Amazon does. Everything is always um, changing. But it's a gel-like something inside. They call this a gel pillow. I don't know. 100% polyester gel fiber. And the cover is 100% cotton. Okay. But it definitely, definitely is giving hotel feels. Yes. This is nice. Okay. I'm finally getting the comfy bed that I want. Okay, so they're fluffing out. Definitely nice. I might get another set. Just replace all the pillows with these and let the other pillows be guest pillows because those are still nice as well, though. I Because I just got those other two, remember? So, yeah, these are nice. I'm going to go ahead and get these in their pillowcases. So, all of these things will be linked below just in case you're interested in new pillows throw pillows pillow cases remember these are pillow cases that i put on those other furry pillows I wanted something different because i had a little too much fur going on and i said i wasn't gonna buy any new bedding so the cheapest way to refresh my look was to just get some pillow cases and just add an extra throw pillow because that's was that's as far as i'm wanting to go with this because it's not that deep so I'm going to go ahead and set up the pillowcases with the new pillows. All right, so now that I have it all made up and finished spraying my sandalwood rose linen spray, girl, my bed is ready for me later on. And it only takes a little. Girl, this smells so good. I'll have it linked down below. This is a black-owned, woman-owned company, girl. The candles are bomb. The linen mist is just bomb, girl. I'm already planning to order me two more of these to have it on backup. I just, I, I can't, I, I can't run out of this. I just can't. I cannot see life without this spray. So luxe, so luxe. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. It just smells so fabulous. I'm girl. I can't even describe the smell. It just smells beautiful. <laughs> guys and welcome back to my channel so today is friday it's just about 11 15 i'm about to start getting ready because i want to be ready before diamond arrives because we got some running around to do some business to take care of but that's about it we'll go out to dinner perhaps 
I need to go camera shopping because my main camera has broken. I don't know what's going on with it. I mean, it works, but it just kind of does what it wants. So I need to get a better camera. So I think we're gonna go thrifting at Unclaimed Baggage today. Right after we finish um, tying up loose ends with our business. And yeah, that's pretty much all we got planned today on this Friday. I wanna go out, but Diamond's going down to my folks' house tomorrow, so I know she's not gonna wanna actually go out, out. But we'll see how today unfolds on this Friday morning, girl, going into the night. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup fast because she left just about 50 minutes ago, I think. Well, not even that, probably about 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes ago. This week has definitely flown by so fast. OMGG, it is already July 1st. This is crazy. Well, you know what, it'll be the holidays. Girl, I wasn't ready for this. All right, it looks good. I think as far as my hair goes today, I think I'm just gonna go with a braided wig. I don't feel like curling wigs are doing the most right now. The braided wigs are just so quick and easy and convenient. I do have a new one too that I'm gonna be sharing with you. It's like cornrows. It's cute. I can't wait to begin wearing it. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. So that's what we're on today. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this makeup. I'm hungry though, so if she's not here by the time I'm done with my face, I'm gonna go to Bojangles, I guess, to get me a whole biscuit. blend this in then I'm gonna go in with my black opal contour stick and then that's gonna be it as far as foundation and stuff people think it's it takes me so much time to get ready when I'm being me and my makeup it really doesn't It doesn't take much time to do this. I'm only like four minutes in, and we've just done the most in four minutes. I need to do my relaxer too while I'm off. This girl, my hair is nappy. I think I want to go with a ponytail next. I'm kind of over wearing my wigs for a bit. I'm ready for a ponytail style. Sasha Buttercup. Wanna set our under eye area first. And I'll have everything I used to do my makeup today link below. But Sasha Buttercup is the bomb. I really, really love this one. Gives you a nice 
highlighted and set look under the eyes without being over the top, in my opinion. I remember when this product first came out, it was 20 bucks, now it's going up to 25. I enjoy it though, so. I do need to go to Ulta today and get some new setting spray. Everywhere where we put the light concealer, setting it with the buttercup. There we go. That's that. That's that. That's how we do that. Like I said, I do have a lighter, more translucent one too. Now this was translucent, but my CoverGirl one is a lighter banana powder. It's gonna make your face look a lot more illuminated. With my infallible pressed powder, this is what it looks like. You pick this up at Walmart. I use the corresponding foundation and concealer as well. I love it. Now you can get this stuff from Amazon too because I found that the foundation and the concealers can be purchased cheaper on Amazon than Walmart sometimes. But prices do fluctuate on Amazon. setting powder just bake a little longer under the eyes let it do its thing there not some of this off because i i think i'm gonna wear my braided wig if i didn't say that already i am or oh, that could have been me just really confirming that with myself <laughs> i am i am i am i'm gonna wear the braided wig so i didn't want to put makeup too far up because we're gonna stick our wig down a bit But sticking my wigs down, girl, it normally leaves me with a headache. I can't be the only one that that happens to. Let me know down below if you experience headaches from wearing like the thick, um, got to be glue gels and the sprays and just having lace glue on your skin. I just feel like it gives me a headache. But I can't lie, I am very tender headed and everything tends to give me a headache sometimes. I mean, glues, temperature, people, everything gives me a headache. Oh, this was the bronzer. And I have the prettiest bronzing palette from Juvia's Place, but I still end up going with my El Cheapo stuff sometimes because I just love the look, way it looks. I love the way the L'Oreal looks, even though I have this. I'm just gonna add it to the cheeks. We'll use this one as a, more like a, a blush today. Along with my normal blush color. We're only 11 minutes into the makeup process. Girl, I be moving fast. And right here, this is where I can stop at my eyeliner, my mascara, put my lipstick on. Girl, this is it right here. This is the look. We can actually stop right there, but because it's the weekend, we'll be a little, we'll be a little more extra, just a little more. But I'm I'm really happy with the way this looks. It's just real clean, polished, and put together. I love that. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna let the powder stay on my face a little longer. I don't really know what all I have planned today, but just in case, we'll be we'll be ready. I didn't even add any extra lighter concealer under my eyes to amp it up like I normally do. I didn't do that today. So what is next for me? I think 
The next move, I could go ahead and spray this, but I'm not. I'm gonna go in with a little eyeliner. This is my favorite retractable eyeliner. It's by Wet n Wild. Y'all know I love my affordable products. You pick this up almost anywhere. I know I'm gonna order it from Amazon because it's usually like a dollar fifty. And it'll be a dollar ninety nine in store. Sometimes these little bitty hairs right in here, I do tend to clip them. All right, so my eyelashes are already still on, which is cool. We don't have to do those, so that shaves time off. These eyelashes have been on probably since Sunday. Sunday or Monday. I'm gonna go in with my Merit Beauty mascara. So I did get some more Fashion Nova jeans in. So we'll probably just pick a pair of those. I think I have some tops I haven't worn yet from them. I have oily skin, so I thought this one would just be everything for my wig needs. But I mean, it always holds my wig down, but like I said, I just feel like this stuff hurts. I love a little glider tip. And I don't use a lot of it. I just mostly like to go right in here. When my forehead has this little dip because like my hair grows like in a weird way. <laughs> I try not to put it on the hair. And everywhere else, it's just gonna get gel. So long as it's down right here in the front, what I feel like what people mainly focus their eyes, the sides can just be gelled with the got to be. So we're gonna let this little layer do its thing. I use this little fan for my makeup and my wig. Well, my glue downs, bro. Right, let it get a little clear. Okay, just like that. We'll leave it on because now that that's clear, we'll add another thin layer. This works so good though. This is like the best. I always get it during her Black Friday sales. And this little one always lasts me so long. seen this wig review girl make sure you check it out this is the best braided wig i've run to you on my channel the absolute best now i love all the other ones but this one's the best by far without a doubt Nice 
nicely. So girl, look at bow hole work. All right, that didn't take long at all. So I'm happy about that. Now I gotta just struggle with styling these baby heels. Even though I love to wear baby hats, I promise you, I always struggle with getting them how I want them these days. If it's been my real hair, it'll be a breeze to whip through it. I just gotta get my gel in there. All right, I feel like this is it, we're done. It didn't take long and that took like 18 minutes to do. The wig took up the bulk of the time, but girl, we're done. Let's get dressed. All right, we're gonna go with the denim. Okay, these are new dark denim jeans from Fashion Nova. I'm distressed, of course. Y'all know I love me some holes. These are cute. And these are a dark blue kind of retro wash. Cute, right? Well, I like them. And then we're gonna go with this top to go with them. Just kind of basic, just a button down with a little belted cinched look around the waist. Yeah. We're gonna go with this. And these are the Kia boyfriend jeans, just in case you're wondering, because somebody's gonna ask me to go hunt for these links. And girl, it be taking me forever to find these links, but these are the Kia Boyfriend Jeans, okay? Just search that, they'll pop right up. And this is the Waste No Time Blows. Oh, MGG, these jeans are tripping. Fashion Nova. I can't pull them all the way up. These are size 13s. I normally I always get a 13, but I will say these jeans don't have any stretch. But girl, it's time for me to pull back from the table a little bit. We're gonna start our diet the week after next. Ooh. All right, whatever. So we just switched and put on these. These are from Fashion Over as well. These are just basic high-waisted mom jeans. Um, but this tag was on them. So this is like my second or third pair from this brand from fashion nova really cute i love the way they fit okay super cute and i'm wearing these in a 13 as well but these have stretch i just should have been more um cognizant of what i was doing when i ordered those and they didn't have stretch the ones that i couldn't fit and i'm pairing them with my um, Gucci Mules, I did get them. I found a good deal, so I couldn't refuse. Yes, I've been wanting them, so um, I got them. They're super cute, super comfortable. Yeah, I love them. And they kind of give you like old school vibes. I love that. <laughs> so this is the look for today. I'm going to take all these tags off. Yeah, these are now making me want to get the beigey ones. So cute. Once I get those, I definitely don't want another pair, but I do love them. Super cute. Okay, so here's the look. I'm thinking, I'm just thinking about going with the, the disco bag. I don't know yet. I do love, 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 love this bag. Do I want to carry it? Cause like I said, it's nothing special that I'm doing today. It's just running errands, so I don't need a big bag. Though I am going to Scottsboro, but I still don't need a huge bag though. We're just going camera shopping and going to handle some business at the dealership. But yeah, I like it. What you think? It's just chill and relaxed. And I'm just feeling the shoes. I'm loving them. I like it. All right, guys, we are in the car. <laughs> We're headed to Scottsboro. Unclaimed baggage. Do a little shopping, see what they got to offer. But first, we got to go handle a little business. And then we're headed on down these streets. Hey, guys, we just pulled up to Longhorn. We hadn't made it to Scottsboro yet. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I'm tired, tired. Parking the car. I'm ready to eat. 
haven't had Longhorn in forever. I love their chopped steak and mashed potatoes. That's probably what I'm going to get. Let me grab my keys. All right, Diamond's already getting out the car. She's over here looking at, uh, looking at a car that's parked. So, yeah, let's go on in. Let's do it with this. Not many people, so that means we shouldn't have no long wait. They should be ready for us to come on in here and sit down. Don't let they don't have no business all day. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we have. I know we counted what I want because I hadn't had chopsticks in a while. Just some mashed potatoes. Yes, I already know what I want. I think Diamond already knows what she wants. You're getting your your Parmesan chicken, crusted chicken. Yeah. And I'm gonna do the chopped steak this time. So I haven't had chopped steak in so long. I love that. I hope they got their corn. Their corn be looking so good. Say, they good. Your mom will just send us the um, nice. money to split it. Okay. <laughs> So she's not eating any bread, so I'll take over this. Thank you. Okay, well, I already know what I want. I want to do the chopstick. Wait, mm -hmm. um, let me do mashed potatoes. And let me add um, the five grilled corn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do the Parmesan crusted chicken. Nine ounces. Yeah. What size would you like? Broccoli. And I also wanna do the corn. Food just came out. I got mashed potatoes, chopped steak, and the. Um, fire roasted corn and diamond got parmesan crusted chicken, chicken broccoli, broccoli, and the corn. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm. Walmart has a pretty cool clearance going on. Cute stuff on clearance. Yeah, see me either. I don't have a lot of t-shirts. Ooh, I think me and Dalvin are trying to have a boozy weekend, ain't we? <laughs> a boozy weekend. All right, let's go look at the cords. But guys, like I said, if y'all have not tried any of the Black Girl Magic Wands, you have to, you have to, have to, have to try it. All right, we need a, I need to get an apple cord for my car. All right, Diamond and I came in Burlington to get these. We needed this for the car. Cause you remember guys, I told you my last one broke. So we're in Burlington. I haven't been in here in years. I didn't see anything though. All right guys, lunch was good. Our shopping went okay. I got everything I set out to get. So next we're hitting the mall. I haven't been to Parkwood Place Mall in a while. So that's where we're going. Last time I went to Parkwood Place Mall was when I went bowling after our snow day. That was the last time I've been in Parkwood Place Mall. And I want to say that was like 
end of January, February. Well, we'll see. The mall just don't do it for me anymore. It's never really popping. We ain't got no good stores in our mall. But we just love Burlington. I got my little phone mount from Burlington so I can record. I feel like the clothes in Burlington are just... I think I feel like Burlington is just more so for big men. That's what they mostly go in that shop. But we didn't look at the clothes. No, not today we didn't. But I normally sometimes put walk through, but I've never really ever found anything in Burlington that caught my eye other than um you never found a my huh? You never found a coat? I don't think I've ever really bought coats for Burlington. But I have found shoes in there that I've loved. I've bought many pairs of shoes from there. And I've gotten in some of my backpacks from in there. My leather backpacks or leatherette backpacks that I travel with from time to time from in there. And they got some really cute handbags. But that's about it. Like, yeah, that's the only thing I've ever really shopped in there for. Was that. So they got to be having something. But it's been packed here lately. I think they're probably going to have a lot of music tonight at the camp. But yeah, we in the city. Diamond's just here for the day. Well, I don't know. We just passed Trader Joe's. I wanted to get some flowers, but I'm so tired, y'all. I'm so tired. All right, guys, we are doing our shopping in Dillard's. Look at these shoes. I'm gonna turn the camera around for y'all. These Birkenstocks, these Birkenstocks are so cute. I just love the gold buckle on those. Yeah. Super cute. They make them in like patent too with the gold buckle. Mm, no, I just kind of wish that the bottom was a little darker though. Yeah. But nonetheless, it's still cute. Very cute. Those are super cute. I feel like I need the brown flats, so. though. Okay, yeah, well, they got them in a, a good old size 10 right here. So? Yeah. She on a date. Now, these. This is the move right here. And they're wide, too. I love that. Okay, I'm black sandals Which one? These. Those are super cute. What, these or those ones? Uh, I like these. I like them both though. But I'm checking on those. They're they're like they are. I always go bigger with those. They're super cute. Look at all these pretty summer colors. And they're 40% off. Yes. Yes, these are super cute. These Sam Edelman's. I want these too. So we're gonna see if they have those in my size as well. And these are 65% off. Yes, look at that. Girl, we are shopping, shopping today. Gotta get those. Oh, I hope they have them in my size. Okay, and they have the Gucci dupes in the coach. They're 40% off at 78 bucks. They're super cute though. But I don't like them for myself, that is. These are the little Sam Elderwins. We're gonna try these on. They look pretty wide, y'all. Now my feet are wide, but don't show these folks my toes because my, my paint is peeling. We got to do our feet this weekend. Right. See the bag okay? Uh -huh, it's perfect. Right. You have a great day, okay? Thank you, Thank you. too. Where did she go? All right, guys, so Diamond's going with these keys right here. Steve. These are the Steve Maddens. They give you Balenciaga vibes. Yeah. They're so cute. All right, so this is what our mall looks like. This is Parkway Place Mall. Malls are just pretty boring to me for the most part. Especially when they don't have like exciting stores. The 
But what is this? OMG. Oh, it's a little day spa? Girls only. Oh, that is too cute. Look at this little day spa for little girls. Look at this. That is too cute. Then of course there's Forever 21. So everybody has that. It's like the only place that I consider really shopping other than Dillard's and Belk. And then there's um, Bath and Body Works that I like. to go into Ulta because I'm out of setting spray. Need to grab some of that real quick and then I am headed back home. I don't see the normal one that I get so I'm just going to go with this one because Diamond's waiting on me in the car so we need to hurry up and get on out. Up here. Alright so that was fast. You know, I did a little quick lipstick swatching. in the car headed to Scottsboro to unclaim the baggage the the view is so gorge so pretty it's just a little too rural for me I could never live this far out from civilization uh -uh. I need to be able to get to anything within 10 minutes 10 minutes tops only going in here looking for a camera only. We're gonna look at everything else. I'm gonna show you everything that they have in here, but I'm only picking up a camera. That's it for me. Like, nothing more, nothing less than a camera. Period, poo. All right, so we're pulling up right now. It's gonna be right here on the right. Girl, what I'm telling you, they usually always have some really good finds, so. But like I said, we're not doing the most in here today. We're going in here looking for a camera. <laughs> I don't know who I'm trying to convince. You guys or myself. Probably more so me. But this is what it looks like. There's quite a few people here today. get up close so you see the front so this is what the front looks like but i've been here before you guys have seen this place with me looks like they had an event like a little bouncy house out here on in and see what they got for us all right guys let's go see what we got It's a lot different from last time. Okay, right, guys, up these stairs. This is where the electronics are. I do have the Fitbit that I wanted originally. I think I am gonna splurge and do it just because I want it. No other reason other than I just want it. Okay, now this is a great buy as well. I'm a Sony girl. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
This one might work. That was like you. Some pretty cool things in today, but nothing's like catching my eye that I just got to have. I don't know though. That's uh, Louis Saint Laurent it's up there. There's a Chanel. Let me zoom. So this has just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff on it. Um, all of it's like 20 bucks or less. But you can come in here and dig for stuff for days. These are super cute. Shein. I'm not sure if this is a swimsuit. This looks like some kind of stripper get up. Or maybe like a bodysuit of some sort, like a Dutch outfit. I don't know what this. I think they got this one misplaced. <laughs> But as you see, they have some of everything in here. It's like their mall here in Scottsboro. Swim and tonic. That is so cute. All right, guys, so I'm leaving. I didn't find anything. I did see one interesting camera, but I don't really know about Canon. I've never had a Canon camera. I'm a Sony girl, but I did see a Sony one. But for that price, the ZV-1, I can just go and get that from Best Buy and the box were just about the same thing. So that wasn't a good deal. So next is probably what we'll do, just go to Best Buy. All right, so I've literally eaten nothing today, so I'm hungry. We could see what this little town, we got to eat. Or we could just eat when we get to Huntsville. I don't know what I wanna do, but I'm definitely, definitely hungry. Do I wanna have a sit down or do I wanna have a rolling lunch slash dinner? Because this is, even though it's 5 11 right now, this will definitely be like my brunch. Like I said, I hadn't had breakfast or lunch. And that means I'll be hungry again later tonight. So I'm going to um, ride around, to bend a few corners, if you will. We're going to bend a few corners here in this town, see what they got to eat. I don't think they have Chick fil A here. Because that would be bomb just to eat Chick fil A in the car as I go back into the city. We'll figure it out. All right, so they only have Hardee's, a Sonic, Arby's, Crystals, a Little Seasels. Okay, Subway, there's a KFC. We got Taco Bell, Wendy's, Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen is always good. What about Dairy Queen? Can we do Dairy Queen? Oh, Cone would be nice right now. Oh, they got Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's going towards Fort Payne, though. That's 22 miles away. No, we're definitely not going to do that. Oh, so you really ain't even got the Burger King. Oh, yes, you do. That's the Burger King here. Ugh. I'm just going to head back into the city. And we're going to see what we got there. Because this is too much. This is too much. This is why I can't live in these country little settings. I can't, I'm not gonna call these people country. It's just rural, how about that? It's just the rural area. I can't do rural. 
that's what I can't do. It's just too, it's just too out there for me. I got to drive too far to get to the good stuff. I need the good stuff at my fingertips. Okay, that's what we need. Oh, Chinese food do sound good, right? That does sound yummy. All right, so now I'm gonna grab something to eat. I think I'm gonna go in Taco Mama because then next then I have to go into Publix to get some things. But it's right over here. Thank you, darling. All right, here it is here. Yeah. I'm gonna go outside, though, okay? Yeah, no problem, Let me just go ahead and grab your signature on this one so if you don't. So I got pineapple soda, the chips, and queso is so good here. So I got the cilantro rice and my salsa and the burrito. The burrito is called the judge. It's like chicken, cheese, beans, rice, you know, everything. dinner slash lunch or whatever you want to call it was pretty good i'm glad i chose taco mama that really hit the spot i enjoyed myself i enjoyed my little outing so now i'm going to head back into the city i'm going to go to trader joe's i want me two bouquets i want a pink one and a white one of roses so i can go back home put me a, a load of laundry in you know like my work clothes paint my toenails take my shower and get ready for bed because I do have to go to work tomorrow. Um, I work from 1 till 9.30. But 9.30 usually turns into 10.30, but I'm shooting for the earlier time. But we'll see how that goes. And I'm off on Monday. So this week, my new off day, my new off days begin for this schedule. So I'm now gonna be off on Sundays and Mondays. So that means there might be a little shift, whoa, in my vlogging uploads but nonetheless i'm still going to be bringing them i just don't really know you know what days that is not like i have a schedule now but just you know keeping you girls informed on what's going on but yeah girl that's pretty much all for me i'm just gonna go to this store get these flowers and take it on to the crib so i can begin my my resting stage and getting my mind right for work. This girl, work be kicking my butts. So I'm gonna try to make sure I'm well rested for tomorrow's shift, that's all. But yeah, girl, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads until next time. I will see you in my next video and there will definitely be another video.
Bye.